Okay, I'm gonna start with a cube and I'm gonna scale it on the Z axis with S, then press Z and maybe scale it on the Y axis. Don't forget to apply the scale, Control A, scale. And now I can add a remesh modifier. If we lower voxel size, this will increase the faces. Now add a displace modifier. I can use Clouds Texture, adjust the scale. Now I can lower the strength in Displace Modifier, adjust voxel size. I don't need too much geometry right now. I can activate this button to see the modifier in edit mode. Now duplicate the mesh with Shift D. Because we are using remesh modifier, this will create only one mesh. Now I'm going to add a cylinder. Scale it on the Z axis. Duplicate. I can adjust the box size if needed. Now duplicate and move it up. To select a mesh, select any face or vertex, then press L. And you can add more cubes or any mesh. I'm just trying to make a rock-like shape. Once you are happy with the mesh, right-click and convert to mesh. Now I can go into Sculpt, uh, press Shift and I can smooth the mesh. I'm going to select the Scrape Brush and flatten some parts. I'm going to add a multi res Resolution modifier, subdivide it. If you want, you can spend more time sculpting, but I leave all the work to the textures. I need to unwrap the model, so in the modifier, I'm going to select the level viewport, the same as sculpt, and apply it. Now into edit mode, hit U, unwrap, I'm going to use Cube projection. Now add a displace modifier. But this time I'm gonna select a displacement texture. These textures are from polyheaven.com. The texture I'm using is cliffside. Just click on download. Once you add the texture, here in mapping, you can repeat it if you need. Now in displace modifier, I'm gonna set coordinates to UV and adjust the strength. You can use mid level to prevent mesh clipping. Now I'm going to add a material. Select the shader and press Ctrl Shift T. I'm going to select the color, normal, roughness, and also the displacement. In the shader, I can lower specular to 0.1 or less. 
If you need more details, you can add a subdivision surface modifier. Just move it up so it can affect the displays. Now I want to see more shadows, so I'm gonna enable scene lights, lower the strength. Now add a sunlight. I can add a second shader and mix it. Just uh, press Ctrl Zero. And I'm gonna pick a color and use a geometry into factor. Then a separate X, Y, and Z. Connect from Z so we can mask based on the height. Now I can control the mask with a map range or color ramp. Of course, you can add textures to the shader if you like. And now it's time to duplicate the model to create the cliff. You can scale and rotate it. Try to randomize it. Maybe scale it on a particular axis, but I'm using only one model, so you can create more to randomize even more. I'm gonna change to Cycles Render. For lighting, I'm using an HDRI. This image is from polyheaven.com. The name is Industrial Sunset. Now I can duplicate the sunlight in data. Disable cast shadows and now use a very low value in strength. This is just to thin the shadows and we should use a bluish color for daylight. Finally, I added some models. You can find free architecture assets on my Gumroad or our station stores. I leave the links in the description. And maybe I can add some vegetation. And that's it. See you next time.